my story is this. I was 17. I have a dad who's an agnostic. I, my mom was a cafeteria captain. I wasn't really involved in my faith. I went to an all-boys prep school. And Father Larry Richards was my junior religion teacher. Anybody know who he is? All right. I apologize for you. <laughs> and he would do, say the same thing about me. He goes, you mean Justin? He's me on steroids. You know what I mean? Like, and, uh, we didn't like each other. Actually, he bothered. Because this guy had a unibrow. Seriously. He doesn't have one now because I told him to pluck it. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, you're like, you're a jerk. I was a jerk. And I still have a jerk face. You know, I have these t-shirts for the all-boys schools. When I go to all-boys schools, they say, I'm a jerk face. And on the bottom it says, but with Jesus, I'm amazing. You know what I mean? They love them. They're like, give me one else. You know, it doesn't say, I'm amazing right away. Because they say, I don't know. How many guys would rather be called a jerk face than amazing? I mean, it's a weird, like, thing here. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's, you know, somebody might be like, no, I want to be a nice kid. I remember I went to Steubenville, and I go to Steubenville, I go, hey, you're a nice guy. I go to this guy's man, sincere. You really have a good heart. And he goes, I'm not nice. I'm dangerous. <laughs> I go, first of all, there's nothing dangerous at this university. <laughs> you know, like, I go, there's a lot of good things and you're a nice guy. He goes, okay, I'm a nice guy. Uh, but the bottom line is something about being dangerous. Like, I know you dream about being dangerous. This guy over here, what's your name? John. Everybody, clap your hands for Sean. Everybody say Sean. Say Sean. You are amazing. You know what? And I didn't realize that when I was in high school. Before I bring, begin my presentation, I want to share about my life a little bit. It's in my first book, Hard as Nails. I share about my life in that book. I share about kids' lives, what they're going through. Kids are going through challenges, and I was going through challenges. But I want to talk about challenge tonight. The greatest challenges that we face are amazing. They're what make us who we are. They're what mark how we react. But a lot of us, like myself, ran from my challenge. You see, when I was a young kid, I was a sensitive kid. I cried at everything. I was the kid at eight years old that would cry like the Lion King. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was the kid, but I wouldn't let anybody see it. If I got in trouble, I'd act tough with my dad or my mom. But then I'd go in my room and cry in my pillow, but no one knew it. No one knew it but me. And you know what? I was mean. I heard people say, horrible kid. No. But I wasn't real. I was a fake. Raise your right hand and repeat after me and say, I. I. Say, I. I. Will. Will. Be. Be. Real. Real. How many of you don't like fakes in this room? Who doesn't like fakes? Raise your hand. Okay. How many of you know a fake in this room? Be real. Raise your hand. Who knows a fake? Well, maybe it's you. Put your hand up. Okay, great. I don't know. Okay? 
You know, that'd be a nice thing for somebody to walk down the street. Oh, he's a holy guy. I might have holy genes, you know, but a holy guy? Am I striving to be a saint? Am I striving to do my very best? Yeah. But when you're real, it's not pretty sometimes. And uh, I wasn't real. I was a fake. And so I run from the truth. Well, guess what happens? I end up following Larry, becomes my teacher. And I, I rip on him. He had a little belly. I was like, ah, you're a meatball. You know, I used to mess with him. He go, get out of my classroom. And if anybody read the book, Be a Man? Anybody read that book? Yeah, in the eighth chapter, he wrote, read that book if you're a man. And in the eighth chapter, he talks about me in there. <laughs> and about how he used to come in the classroom, right? And he used to pray for me. He'd sit in my chair and go, all right, I hope I can make it through 40 more minutes with this kid. <laughs> so then he's praying and God says, ask him on a retreat. He goes, I can't spend 40 minutes with this kid, let alone a whole weekend. How many of you know a kid like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you! <laughs> Jeremy! <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> Well, every time he'd ask me to give all my faith or his prayer groups, you know what I'd do? Every time I'd be a fake and say, I already know Jesus. I've already seen that before. The truth is, is the only reason I went on a retreat is because I got thrown off the basketball team, had a party at my house, and thought I got a girl pregnant. Father Larry, God put it on his heart to say, ask this young man to go on a retreat. Was that a kid that did a lot of bad things? No. Only messed up once. Not a hundred times, not eighty times, once. I messed up that one time. Got so scared, Father Larry goes, who's going on the retreat, gentlemen? I raised my hand, he thought I was messing with him, like to be in the jerk. You see, it was only through my challenge it was only through my struggle. You know the only reason I'm here right now and all of you are here? You want me to be real? Because of a young man's challenge. Because a family brought me here because they wanted me to spend time with their son. That's why I'm here. And it just so happens that I get to do an event for all of you like I do all over the world because of that family saying a challenge is going to bring us together. A challenge is going to help us. When as Christians did we ever be afraid of a challenge? Well, I was afraid. And so he asked me 